It was a chilly morning. We had temperatures fall into the upper teens. Started off the day at 16 degrees in Lafayette. Still seeing mostly clear skies. Here's a live look through our traffic camera. You can see the clear blue skies in the background, and it's 27 degrees. Winds are out of the west at 8 miles per hour, and we have wind chill values still in the upper teens across the viewing area. It's 26 in Winnemac and Delphi, 28 degrees in Frankfurt, and we'll continue to have mostly sunny skies into the first part of the afternoon. Afternoon, and then later on in the evening, more clouds will be moving in as our next system arrives. It's going to bring us a chance, another round of snow showers. That is going to move in after midnight and then last through tomorrow morning's commute as well. Enjoy the dry weather while it lasts, but temperatures will stay on the cooler side. Only reaching 34 degrees by 4 o'clock with scattered cloud cover. Temperatures this afternoon are trending about 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. 33 for a high up to our north in Winnemac, Morocco. 32 Rochester and reaching into the mid 30s for the southern half of the viewing area. Taking a look at our future cast for today, you could see more clouds moving in just around 7 o'clock this evening, and then that chance for snow arrives closer to midnight, keeping a chance for snow showers during the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning and then also seeing a chance for rain showers late tomorrow morning before temperatures fall in the mid to upper 20s. We'll fall near 27 in Frankfurt and Williamsport, 28 degrees in Covington and here in Lafayette, an overnight low of 27 degrees. Winds will be out of the southeast between 5 to 10 miles per hour and then we'll have a high of 36 tomorrow afternoon, seeing snow showers that morning and then transitioning to a wintry mix in the afternoon. Another look at our future cast timing out that system, still seeing a chance for snow tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, and then it's going to start to change over to rain around the lunch hour, especially for our southern counties, and then all rain showers later on that day. It, the system will completely move out by Thursday, 7 o'clock, and then we'll have decreasing cloud cover during the overnight hours, turning mostly sunny for Friday. We'll have dry weather to wrap up the work week, and we'll be left with anywhere from 1 to 4 inches of snow. Our lightest totals will be to the south because our southern counties will see more rain versus the northern half of the viewing area. One to two inches for our southern counties, two to four likely for the northern half of the viewing area by Thursday evening. High of 36 degrees is expected on Friday and then Saturday a chance for a wintry mix. We'll have a high of 40 and then 48 degrees Sunday staying dry for the second half of the weekend and then another system arrives Monday and Tuesday of next week providing us with rain showers and perhaps a few rumbles of thunder on Tuesday but temperatures are really going to rise next week 57 Monday and then 66 right there Tuesday All right that looks great we just have to get through tomorrow yeah we have another taste of winter tomorrow mm -hmm. and then temperatures are going to be rising from there on out okay be sure and watch news 18 this morning tomorrow as Amber tracks it we'll also have a Updates on road conditions that you know the drill by now. <laughs> Amber, thank you.